everyone. This is Robert Esther here at livingpianos.com with another just spectacular Mason and Hamlin double A. Been so lucky to get several of these recently. Not only that, but they come from the magical era prior to the ownership by Aeolian of Mason and Hamlin during the depression when so many piano companies couldn't cut it against the falling economy. In fact, most piano companies didn't survive. Today, of the venerable companies that were around before the Depression, only two remain. Mason and Hamlin and Steinway have that distinction. This is a rebuilt piano and refinished. It looks gorgeous and plays wonderfully. And I want you to hear a little bit. So I'm going to start with a little bit of Schumann, a couple of movements from Carnival. You know, Mason and Hamlin's like this, from this era, have a quality to the tone. It's so hard to describe, but there's a roundness and a richness that I think is unmatched by any other piano. Sure, there are some European pianos that have that uh, almost brittle clarity that is wonderful, for, particularly for chamber music, for early styles of music, for counterpoint of Bach and Mozart. But the lushness of the Mason and Hamlin's for romantic period music, Brahms, uh, Beethoven slow movements and such. I'm going to play though to show you that even pieces that require great clarity, this piano is up to the task. I'm going to play just a little bit of a couple of movements of a F major sonata of Franz Joseph Haydn.
Such a joy to play. I feel like playing the whole sonata for you. But I'm going to close now with just the opening chords from the Tchaikovsky B flat minor piano concerto. seems to go on forever. A lushness, a richness, yet clarity and blending. The two facets of piano tone that usually are at odds with one another have a perfect marriage in this Mason and Hamlin from the pre-Aeolian period, the golden era of American piano building. Thanks for joining me. Robert Esser here at livingpianos.com.